Hi guys, so I'm working on this lovely advent calendar. Um, I've been doing it for a couple of years now, no judgments please. I'm very busy, very busy, very busy. Um, but um, I decided, because it's got these edgy bits here, um, I wanted to do it like a Tudor um, style house, that's why it's white and black. Um, but the edges here, wouldn't have looked right with the corners going across. So if you look here, they wouldn't have looked right. So I stuck the brick slips down and then I was like, oh, I don't actually like that. Um, so I need to take them off. So I thought I'd do a little video showing you guys how easy it is to get the brick slips off. So basically you just need, let me just put this down, a scraper, just like one of these just a bog standard scraper you can get in any DIY store and a heat gun form of heat you can use a hairdryer on really hot setting it's not as um, the nozzle isn't as focused as a heat gun but um, I've had this one for years from many years of crafting um, but yes yeah, so these are super cheap to pick up um, you can get even DIY standard ones, they're a little bit too much for adult house project unless you've um because they get a bit too hot. Um but this this sort of thing is perfect. So it's gonna be a little bit noisy, but I'm just gonna show you what you do to get the brick slips off if you've just stuck them on with PVA and then go, oh I've made a mistake or oh I've changed my mind um what I want to do with them. So you literally just apply some heat. So it's gonna be a bit noisy but just to show you what to do. And just let it heat up a bit, keep that glue up. Put it just stuck on the PVA and just move. Just give them a good blast with the heat gun. Just up enough without any issues, and your wood is absolutely perfect, perfect. So, just do this quickly. I'm sorry if it's a bit noisy, but it is one of those things that's a little bit noisy. It just melts the PVA, so it just means that you can get them off. They're super easy to get off. We get so many people who get worried when they've made a mistake or oh I don't know if I if I've done that right or it's wonky or anything like that. But this is how easy they are to get off. It's super super easy. Just apply a little bit of heat and they literally just come off. Get these last two right at the bottom.
and that's come off the display over the whole thing just to remove any of the glue residue as well. So I'll just turn that off a minute and just give it a bit of a scrape. And your project is good as new to start all over again. Just like that. So, thanks for watching guys and I'll check you next time.